We're down in Manatee Springs, which is one of my favorite exhibits at the Cincinnati Zoo because I grew up in Florida, where 50 years ago when I was a little kid, if I went out fishing, it was very rare to see a Florida manatee. In fact, most people called them sea cows then. And we'd see them come up and say, oh yeah, there it is. Today, of course, they've become rock stars. You can stop traffic on a bridge if somebody yells manatee in Florida these days. But there's good news. They've long been protected by the Endangered Species Act and in fact classified as endangered. But now they're going to reduce their coverage to being listed as threatened. Now they'll still have protection, but the reason this is good news is it means there are a lot more manatees than there were years ago. Today when I go down to Florida very frequently, if you're in intercoastal waterways or rivers like the St. Johns River, you'll frequently see a Florida manatee. Now hopefully that protection will still be enough and their numbers will stay steady or even continue to grow because they do get into trouble. In fact, that's why we have a manatee program here at the Cincinnati Zoo. There are only two places outside the state of Florida that have these animals. So in order for us to have them, we're part of the official U.S. Fish and Wildlife Rescue and Release Program. Bam Bam here is a youngster, only about four to 500 pounds. As he grows up and gets to 700 pounds, we'll fly him to Florida, release him, and then bring another one back that needs help. So hopefully the future of the Florida manatee remains bright and they're still protected under the Endangered Species Act.